Two of the Charlottesville Super Regional and ACC matchup of college baseball teams. Duke and Virginia Blue Devils took game one yesterday, five to four. Cavaliers trying to force a deciding game three on Sunday. If not, Duke heads to the College World Series for the first time since 1961. Top of the first one to nothing Virginia. Check out Duke center fielder Giovanni De Giacomo with a sprawling grab for the out. What a play. But Virginia really took control of this game in the fifth inning. Ethan Anderson with a three run bomb over the right field wall to give the Cavaliers a seven to three lead at that point. The Cavs actually hit two home runs in that inning. Eighth inning now we go. Jake Galoff mashes out his school record 23rd homer of the season for Virginia. Cavs hit four homers by four different players Saturday afternoon. Virginia gets even in a big way, winning game two by 10 runs, 14 to four to force a deciding game three on Sunday. I've always believed at this time of the year, the, the calmer, more, more poised warrior wins most of the time. And so that's individually and collectively as a group. The haze in the barn, you prepared them. It's a matter of, you know, them going out and being loose and having fun and letting their ability take over. Game three will be played at noon in Charlottesville on Sunday with the winner advancing to Omaha. Number one overall seed Wake Forest hosted Alabama in game one of the Winston-Salem Super Regional Saturday because of a non-game related medical event. The game was delayed two hours. Leadoff hitter Tommy Hawk explodes on the first pitch he saw for Wake today. Solo home run for Hawk and a one to nothing lead for Wake in the first. Deacons actually hit two home runs in the first inning. Fifth inning we go tied up at three. But not for long, not tied anymore. Danny Corona knocks out an ice cold bomb out to right to give the Demon Deacons the lead back. Wake hangs on to win five to four and their one went away from going to Omaha. Deacon Nation has showed up in spades. You know, we've had a couple of delays the last couple of weeks and they've stuck it out. And, you know, to walking into the stadium at, you know, 8 a.m. this morning, there's people out there tailgating, there's excitement. I was at a restaurant last night, people were yelling, go Deeks. And, it, it, it's been electric, so it would it would mean the world to this program um, and me personally to do it here at the college. I said earlier, Duke hasn't made it to the College World Series since 1961. Well, Wake Forest hasn't made it since 1955. Game two in that series is Sunday at noon. Let's go to minor league baseball. The Down East Wood Ducks trying to beat Delmarva on the road in four of the last five games Saturday night. This game was back and forth. It went into extras tied at five, and the Woodies come away with the big victory, seven to five in 11 innings. Game six between the two teams to conclude the series on the road in Delmarva is on Sunday. We stay in minor league baseball. We go to single A ball. Former ECU Pirate Bryson Worrell had a two run RBI single for the Augusta Green Jackets on Saturday. The affiliate for the Atlanta Braves. Worrell finished one for two at the plate with two RBI. He has a 229 batting average in the minors this season. Let's go to the Coastal Plain League. The Moorhead City Marlins face the Florence Flamingos on the road Saturday evening in South Carolina. Marlins wearing their Moorhead City motorboater uniforms. They get the win 11 to 3. They are back on the road against the Wilmington Sharks on Sunday at 7:30 p.m. Major League Baseball Whiteville High School alum Mackenzie Gore got the start on the mound for the Washington Nationals Saturday against the Atlanta Braves and it did not go well for Gore giving up a two run homer to Marcelo Zuna in the second and then a solo bomb to Ronald Acuna Jr. later in the inning. Gore pitched five innings, three strikeouts while giving up four hits, five runs with a 4.40 ERA. Braves get the win six to four. That is your take on sports. Back to you guys.